I'm Kafu Jasa. I am a physician scientist with training in neuroscience, bioengineering, and psychiatry. I'm really invested in figuring out how the needs of the folks I see in the clinic can be manifested in a world of science. The goal of my research is to understand how the brain works as an organ. And if we can understand how information is organized in this organ, then you can have treatments that are based in the organ rather than the behavioral output. I organize people to spend their entire time working on problems that at the deepest part of my core matter to who I am. As an African-American male, the unique set of experiences that I have all filter into my interpretation. And, and I consider that one of the greatest gifts that I have as a scientist is the fact that I just see the world differently. In one case, a young man is diagnosed with ADHD and their life is tracked in a certain way. In other ways, they're diagnosed with conduct disorder if there's a history of disparities and they're trafficked into the juvenile justice system. That is where institutional bias has its greatest room to play and do its destruction, right? And so that's what happens in the context of mental illness. And so I'm aware of these things, but I still exist with the fundamental belief that with enough hard work and discipline, I can find myself on the other side of all of those challenges. I grew up in Silver Spring, Maryland. The high school was an incredibly diverse. It was only when I was sitting in AP Calculus or AP Chemistry where I was the only African-American student. My dream when I was in high school was to go off and be an Olympic champion. <laughs> so I ran track all the way through high school. A lot of how I approach the world, I learned it on the track because you have an ability to have a measurement. And so the goal for me was always to get better against myself. And if I keep getting better, I have no doubt that ultimately I'll be able to squeeze all of the gifts and talents that I have and make a difference in the world. There are any given number of fantastic and amazing role models that suggest a young African-American male can be a basketball player or a football player. My belief is that intellect is universally distributed. It is scattered irrespective of race. That means we develop the best systems in this country when we figure out how to mine talent from everywhere. There is a dramatically underrepresented population of African-American men in medicine. It means that we as a country aren't doing our job of mining talent in children who are born as African-Americans or children who are born in poverty. My passion for neuroscience, if you track it back, goes back to the seventh grade, right? My passion for engineering goes back even further. And in hindsight, it's no surprise that I ended up here, right? Those narratives became imprinted very early on for me. I went to an undergrad program where the goal was to increase the number of underrepresented minorities getting PhDs in the sciences. I did five years of training as a chemical engineering major at the University of Maryland, Baltimore County. And next thing you know, I was in medical school. <laughs> Duke has nurtured and supported and developed me to be who I am. By giving folks models of scientists and models as clinicians, that inspiration can happen early on. I bring undergrads into my lab every summer from diverse backgrounds. I think having a picture of what your life can look like is a powerful motivating factor. We normally have some of my mentees over every Thursday night. My wife spends her time as a child psychiatrist. We are each other's best support. No one does anything great by themselves. We all need help, we all need support, and we all need people who are farther along to invest in us accomplishing our dreams. You are capable of making the world spin on an entirely different axis. All you need is self-belief and people who are willing to support you. My name is Kafu Jirasa, and I am a black man in a white coat.